What's up, YouTube? It's been a while since I had a video. I'll give a little shot of what I got going on. Cut the frame today. Um, and, uh, sorry, there's a dog running around. Neighbor's dog, I'm kind of looking there. But, anyway. Uh, so I cut the frame, got the pieces to weld it back together. Could not find for a good enough price and I don't know where the steel shop is around here. Um, so I got some threaded bar that's going in there and hopefully I can find something to go over it. Otherwise I got some idea that might look good with a threaded bar. Just go get a whole bunch of nuts and put it all the way up tight. Kind of weld those in place. But I have it so it's like a square, like the nut shape. Who knows? I don't know. I got some ideas. But... So yeah, here's the shop that I've been kicked out of the garage and this is just a temporary just to hold my tools because our business there's the dog that's not mine come here Kiki your friends here um, yeah where was I oh no I don't know oh temporary uh, fix of the shed just keep my tools in because we have our store in the garage, the business that I do, um, buying and selling things, and need all the room in there, so this is our fix. Hopefully, within a few months, maybe next month or the month after, we're going to be putting up like a 14 by 20 shed, or 14 by 20, somewhere in that field, and half of it will be mine, a little over half, because we don't need much storage for our business. KK? No. Kiki, you don't leave the yard. You know better. Get over here. Stupid dogs. That's her friend. Um, damn. So, yeah. We're going to be building a bigger shed. And I'll have a little bit better shop. With an 8-foot ceiling. Probably with like some sort of loft. So I can keep some of my crap out of the way. But anyway, there's my son's bike. After he got it all painted, he rushed it and half-assed it. You can see all the damage there. Just kind of looks like crap, but that's his bike. If he wants it to do that, then go ahead. That's up to him. But my bike is definitely going to be nice. It ain't going to look like that. It's going to be brand new. Because that engine right there, I don't know if I'm going to put it back on. That's probably going to go on that four-wheeler. I have to extend the rear end out I'm gonna make it a little stretch because my 13 year old daughter is gonna be riding that and with that engine it's probably gonna haul ass that does about 60 with me on and I'm 220 pounds 60 on my mini bike I had it on my GPS clocked at 58 and still had room to go and I also had a car beside me that was clocked uh, doing 55 and no problem Kiki get over here and so yeah here's i gotta go through all this today i just kind of threw everything in here but there's my air compressor that i was trying to show in a previous video it's like a 1970s redid it off that was all rusted and i took a wire wheel to the motor and just took me a little bit but well worth it i paid i think 30 bucks for it it's 110 psi is what i feel comfortable putting it at so Said uh, 125, but I don't think so. I don't want that blown up next to me. So. Yeah. So yeah, this is gonna be. Hopefully, I can get this running sooner. I was thinking about even just trying to get that engine running, but I don't know. I don't know too much about that thing, and it's got a lot of crap parts and wires, and I don't like a lot of wires. So not that I can't do it. I just think it'd be sweet with a kind of clone engine on it. You know, lay in there pretty nice. I got the gas tank. Don't have the plastic, but stretch that back end out about eight inches. It'll look sick, and it'll be fun as hell. And that'll be for my daughter. Even though we're probably end up selling it, she wants a mini bike too. That was actually her mini bike. There's a lizard on the tire. Uh, that was her mini bike, and then I traded my son for the one I have because it was too dangerous. He didn't like it. It was too much work. And this one was running brand new, and then he ended up taking this apart, 
for no reason because it was brand new. Um, but a good learning process. He's got some videos. Uh, I don't even know how to say is the way he has his channel named. I don't really know how to say it. It's on mine if you want to look for it. But uh, I had some info from Turf Dog trying to figure out a brake system on my bike because 60 miles an hour and a scrub brake doesn't work out too well. I mean, I, I'm the type of person to say who needs brakes anyway and some's better than none. But you just never know. We got, I live in Florida and these people are idiots around here. You might need a brake. You might have to stop fast, something stupid. Uh, so I need to figure out something. And you know, if my daughter's riding it, I need something better. And after I'm done with the paint and airbrushing, I don't know if anybody's going to be riding it. Because it's, like I said, it's a 1982 Manco Thunderbird. Same year I was born. And, yeah. And if anybody knows how to take those back shocks apart, if I can, uh, let me know. Because I don't think you can. Unless there's some sort of pin or rivet. Otherwise, I think I can buy them on eBay for like 20 bucks or something. So I'll just go that route. But then I gotta figure out, I wanna get the inside painted because I want the springs to be chrome. So, yeah. So I'll be in here today trying to straighten up the shed so I can get back in here. Uh, here's some of the wood. I'm gonna kinda hold off and see. We got some things coming up. This was actually supposed to extend the roof about a foot so I can have some headroom. But I don't know if I'm even going to waste my time if we're going to end up building a bigger shed. What are you two doing? Kiki, come on. Come on. See, she listens. She's a pretty good dog. Kiki, look how happy you are. Come here. See, you're smiling. That's a happy dog. How much happier can you see a dog? I think, uh... Turf dog, his dog was smiling like that too. <laughs> They're happy. Aren't you Kiki? She's a spoiled little brat. You're spoiled. Huh? You spoiled, mommy? You spoiled? You spoiled? Are you smiling? You're fat. Been around Puerto Ricans too long. Been eating too much bread. You got too many carbos, you need to run. Right, Kiki? Kiki? Oh, yeah. Well. So yeah, this is a little, <laughs> give you a little walk around of the build. I got the shed for one of the storage units we bought, and it was there, and I wasn't going to pass it up because how much shit was in there, it was ridiculous. It was like a Christmas for like three days of going through boxes of just crap, but good crap. Stuff that sells. There's my termite pile. They're just tearing that shit up in my pineapple plant. Only in Florida, huh? So, yeah. This is the scrap pile that I had to take out of the truck because we had to go get some stuff. But, yeah, that's my video. I'm talking about nothing. I'm not showing much. Like I said, I'm trying to get a tripod. I'm going to try to show some work that I'm doing. You know, but it's pretty boring. I mean, you're just grinding and... What not? I know people like to watch it. I do. I watch everybody's. Man's fearless. Now turf dog. Um, no clue. Bunch of people that I watch a lot of their videos. They got some cool stuff. Check out No Clue. He's got a sweet uh, race mower going on. I like it. And I like fearlesses too. Just I like the difference. You know, all kinds of different crabs. But yeah, here's my update. I'm going to get that out. Hopefully when my daughter gets home from school, I'll get her into it and try to get the engine off and see what she wants to do. So, alright YouTube, this is my update for today. I probably will have another update of a little bit something better going on. Uh, maybe some welding and frame stretching. So, alright. There's douchebag.